hi guys welcome to another tutorial my name is agnes and today we are going to be doing this high waist bikini bottom i have the tutorial for the top so you can check it out i will pin a comment um, for this bikini bottom we have this x stitch that makes it really look cute and it is easy to make so we are going to go right straight into the video All right, so for this tutorial, I used a yarn needle to swing the ends, scissors. This is a 2.5 millimeter hook. I love to use small hooks for that it is not a see-through. Uh, this is a tape measure. You'll need a tape measure to take your crotch uh, measurements. And this is medium weight yarn, acrylic yarn. I love to use silk yarn, but I didn't have silk yarn, uh, especially Alize Diva Plus. That's what I love to use. But this is uh, what we'll be using today. So get your tools and let's start. Alright, so we're going to start with the foundation and this is at the base of your crotch. So make a slip knot and I'm going to chain 11. Okay, so this is 11, skip one chain, going to the second chain and we are going to be using half double crochet. So make a half double crochet in your second chain. Going to the next chain, make a half double crochet. And the next, make a half double crochet. So we are, this is the crotch area right from the base upwards and we are starting with the front part. So do that until you have uh, 10 half double crochets. Okay, those are my 10 and this is an equivalent of 1.8 inches long okay so my base of the crotch is 1.8 inches we are now going to row 2 so you're going to chain 2 then turn your work yarn over and in that very first stitch right there make a half double crochet Going to the next stitch, make a half double crochet. And you are going to make half double crochets in every stitch for this row. Till you have a total of 10 uh, stitches. All right, so I'm done with row two. Now I'm going to row three, chain two, turn your work, yarn over, and in that very first stitch, you're going to insert a half double crochet. Go into your next stitch, make a half double crochet, and you are going to make half double crochets in every stitch until you get to your 10th stitch. This is my last one. So this is going to be the pattern. You're going to chain two, turn your work, start all over again. And I did this until I had a total number of 2.5 inches long, which was an equivalent of eight rows. So I have my eight rows here. And when I measure this, this is uh, 2.5 inches long, right? So we are now going to start increasing our work. Okay. So for the next row, you are going to chain two, turn your work in that very first stitch, insert a half double crochet. Then yarn over in that very same stitch, very same stitch, insert a second half double crochet. Then now going to the next stitch, make a half double crochet. 
and in the next one so we are going to be increasing at the beginning of the row and at the end of the row so put half double crochet in every stitch and i'll meet you at the end of the row to make an increase All right, so we are at the end of the row. Okay, so insert a half double crochet. And in that very same stitch, put a second half double crochet. So we increase at the beginning and at the end. So chain two, we are going to another row. In that very first stitch, insert your half double crochet. And for this row, we are not going to increase, okay? No increase for this next row. So going to the next stitch and make a half double crochet. And it will be one half double crochet in every stitch for this 10th row. No increase on the 10th row. We increased on the 9th row, 10th row, no increase at all. All right, so I'm going to put in my last stitch. So I'm going to my row 11. So I increased there, there I didn't increase. So row 11, I am going to increase. So in this very first stitch, I'll insert two half double crochets in same stitch to make an increase. Then one half double crochet in each stitch. So we'll be doing one row increase, next row no increase. One row increase, the next row no increase until you have your desired uh, length before the other design for the high waist. So in that very last stitch, I'm going to insert two half double crochets to make my increase. That's my second one. All right. So you are going to repeat this pattern of one row of increase, one row of no increase, one row of increase. Uh, so our next row is no increase until you have uh, enough. You take, just take your measurements from your base of the crotch to where you want this other design to, to reach right before you put uh, the X stitch design and the, where the strings are. Okay. So this is what I have and from the base to the top I have a total number of 8 inches. Now I'm ready to put my uh, other design. This was a total number of 27 rows. Okay. So for this next design is the X stitch chain 3 because we are going to be using double crochets. Okay. Then turn your work and in that very first stitch you're going to make a half double crochet okay sorry no it's a double crochet not a half so make a double crochet that's how you make a double crochet so yarn over you're going to skip the next stitch going to the third stitch and make a double crochet then you are going to go backwards in the stitch you skipped and make a double crochet just complete the X. Okay, so we're going to our next X, skip the next stitch and go into the one after that, make a double crochet. Then go backwards into the one you skipped and make a double crochet. So this is your X. Then skip the next stitch, go into one after that, make a double crochet. Then go backwards and make a double crochet in the one you skipped. So that's how you make a next stitch and you're going to do this until you get to the end of the row. I will meet you once you are there. All right, so I'm coming to the end of the row and I have two stitches left. Normally every beginning and end of the row, make sure it's not a next stitch. So since I only have two left, I'm just going to do double crochets in these two. Okay, so it's double crochet at the beginning of the row, double crochet at the end of the row. Okay, so I have two here at the end. So chain three 
and in that very first stitch make a double crochet and on top of that second double crochet make another double crochet and we are now going to make the X stitch so skip one stitch going to the next and make a double crochet then go backwards and make an X stitch so it's going to be an X stitch on top of an X okay so skip the next going to the next one and make an X on top of the next X make another X okay so you're going to repeat this until you get your desired length of your high waist and then I'll meet you all right so I'm done and this is how it looks it is uh, four inches long that is my X stitch right it's four inches long and it is a total number of uh, seven rows okay seven rows so do this until we have enough coverage for you and we are now going to work on the edging so chain one sorry you are now going to cut off the yarn so chain one and uh, cut off your yarn so we are going to work now on the back part all right so this is how it looks from bottom to top this is about 11.5 inches and we are now going to work on the back part okay so get your yarn And you are going to reattach at the base of the crotch. So chain two. And in that very first stitch, you're going to make a half double crochet. Going to the next stitch, make a half double crochet. So repeat this until you have a total number of 10 uh, double crochets or whatever number you had at the beginning of your project. So we are at the end of the round, we are now going to row two. So chain two and for a this row we are going to start increasing right away so in that very first stitch you're going to insert a half double crochet go into the very same stitch make a second half double crochet and uh, go into the next stitch make a double crochet put one double crochet in each of the rest of the stitches until you get to the end but once you get to the end remember to increase we will be putting two half double crochets in that very last stitch So this is our last stitch that is one and we are going to put a second one to increase that is two okay so row three we are not going to increase so insert one half double crochet in that very first stitch go into the next stitch and insert a dub half double crochet and you're going to do half double crochets for the rest of the stitches so it is the same pattern like before do that until you have a cov enough coverage okay so I'm done and uh, this is how it looks. I have a total number of nine inches, which is at, uh, an equivalent of 20, 29 inches. All right, so I'm going to chain two. We are now going to work on the X stitch. So we chain three, turn your work. And in that very first stitch, make a double crochet. Skip the next stitch, going to the right one, run after that and make a double crochet. Go backwards into the one you skipped and make a double crochet to complete your stitch. I mean your X. So skip the next, going to run one after that, make a double crochet. Go backwards into the one you skipped and make a double crochet. And you are going to repeat this until you're at the end of the row. Make a next stitch until you get to the end of the row. And I'll meet you once you're there. All right, so I'm at the end and I only have two stitches left, so I'll put double crochets in the those two stitches, okay? 
so it's two double crochets right there chain three turn your work two double crochets on each one double crochet on top of then previous double crochet next double crochet on top of the previous double crochet and then you're going to make a next stitch on top of a next stitch so skip the next stitch go into the one after that make a double crochet go backwards to the one you skipped and make an x do that until you have enough all right so i have enough rows these are the same as the one you had at the front and this is seven so we are going to work on the edging chain one in that very first stitch make a single crochet we're going to be using single crochets for this in the middle of that stitch you are going to make a single crochet and then at the top you are also going to make a single crochet right so in the middle there make a single crochet and at the top a single crochet in the middle a single crochet and at the top put a single crochet so repeat this pattern Alright, so we covered the X stitch and we're now going to go to these rows of uh, half double crochet. So here you're going to put one single crochet in every row. Okay, so it's one single crochet in every row. Go into the next row, make a single crochet. to the next one a single crochet and you're going to repeat this um, until you get to the bottom of the other side all right so I did that all around and we are now going to do the shell stitch at the top okay so we're going to chain one then you're going to skip one two three in that very third stitch you are going to make a double crochet so skip two in the third stitch make a double crochet make a second double crochet and a third double crochet in that very same stitch okay so you're going to chain one chain two and in that very same space you are going to make three more double crochets So that's our first shell and we are going to close this off with a slip stitch so skip one two and in the third stitch make a slip stitch like that okay so we have our shell got a second one skip two and in the third make three after three double crochets then chain two same stitch make three more half uh, more double crochets then you're going to skip two stitches and in the third one make a slip stitch okay so repeat this until you get to the end then you'll go around with the single crochets again and make that same on the other side all right, so I'm done with the whole part. Uh, shell stitches at the top, single crochets all around, and we are now going to make the side of this beginning. So you're going to chain one, two, and three. And in that very first stitch, make a double crochet. And skip the next stitch. Go into the one after that, make a neck. A double crochet go backwards in the one you skipped make a double crochet to complete an X okay so you are going to make X's on this side of the bikini uh, 
only where we had the x stitch okay until there and i'll see you all right so i'm at the bottom okay so my last stitch should be a double crochet right so chain three we are going to row two and for this row we are going to make where we put our strings okay so that's a double crochet then you are going to chain two then skip that um, x stitch then go into the next x stitch and make an x okay so it's skip two stitches then make an x stitch make a second x then here you're going to chain two just to make another hole where we'll pass our strings then skip two stitches and make an x in the next two stitches And you're going to go and make another X then chain two skip two and make a double crochet in that very last one okay so we are now going to the edging of that so chain one turn your work and you're going to put a single crochet in every stitch where you have a chain space puts two of them because we had two chains this is just to make it firm all right i'm at the end and i'm going to chain one then cut off my yarn so you are going to do this for every part you will go on this other side make the same exact thing okay on this side too it should be identical then uh, the front part too once you're done make the front part too also identical on both sides and yeah i'm done this is how it looks and i'm now going to make the strings that you use to tie the sides so you're going to make a slip knot And make chains so you're going to chain as long as you want your straps to be so I'm done and this is my string so I'm just going to put it in you can decide to put it in from up to the bottom or from the bottom to the top however you prefer it so it's more like a zigzag shoeless thing for me uh, decide on how you you know you put it do the other side or you can wear it so this is how it looks guys um i hope you love it uh, thank you so much for watching and for supporting share uh, like subscribe i really appreciate it so thank you so much i will see you in my next video bye